Hey everyone, happy, what is today, a Thursday um, evening. I thought I would try something new today. I would come at you live later in the day. Hopefully that can help us people um, who want to see these things live but are usually at work. I know that if you're on the West Coast, this isn't so early but or so late, but I'm trying. Um, but also because I got some new tools, which I, any of you who watch my Ask Me Monday on Facebook every Monday know, I got a bunch of tools at the CHA craft convention um, when I went, including clover tassel makers. And I am finally sitting down to work with them. I'm going to be using them to make a garland, a Valentine's garland that will be on the blog, on the clover blog tomorrow. Tomorrow is January 29th. So if you're watching it after then, it will be there already. But for the rest of you, I'm going to show you how these work um, and we're going to make a tassel together. They come in two sizes right now. Um, I don't have the packaging. I'm assuming it's smaller and larger. Um, but each one, what's cool is that you can adjust the size by just unscrewing them. And so you can, even though that this is, whoa, bigger, you can go really big. I mean, check out that mammoth jamma. I'm going to be all over that when I have some bigger um, supplies. I'm thinking that I'm going to try cutting up fabric. This, so this is normally you would make tassels with yarn, and I am going to demo with yarn. But because of how versatile this is and how adjustable this is, I'm thinking that I could cut up strips of fabric. I got... Um, I won't need to go that big for this, but I got some like pom-pom fringe. It's going to be fun. I'm going to give Rick Rick Rack a tie. Might be lame, but might be awesome. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, and also I have some tool. Um, T-U-L-L-E, not the not this tool uh, that I'm going to give a try. But anyways, I thought that I would give you a little demo. Um, these are tassels, in case anybody... <laughs> Of course you know what a tassel is but here's a tassel these are both tassels that I made with little ones this is just little baker twine baker's twine uh, this is some um, cottonish my yarn line cottonish yarn with some baker's twine I'm just working on the really small ones now I think they'd be nice embellishments they'd look super cute on cards or um, you know just added to things here and there um, and so I'm actually going to use cottonish but in turquoise shocker I know you can never go wrong with turquoise. Um, and some red and white baker's twine because I love turquoise and red together for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to give this a try. I Because this is live, I did not... Um, that's not really as good an excuse. I was going to say because it's live, I didn't rehearse, but you could totally <laughs> rehearse when we're live. Um, I'm just keeping it real. That's what I'm doing. I'm just keeping it real. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm going to bring in some, a little more light. Um, and we are going to take this clover tassel maker for a little spin. Okay, I'm going to switch you around now. I can just see my hand. <laughs> that awesome close-up view of my hand, and there's my thumb, um, free of charge. So let me just make sure that I get the white space so you can see it well enough. All right, so I'm going to use the smaller one. And let me move this over here so you can see it a little better. Alrighty, so we're all set up. So I have it, um, I have my little tassel maker tool set at the height that I want to use. Um, and I have no idea other than I eyed it, but you could, it actually says what measurements it can be if you're interested. Um, oh wow, someone's watching from Australia, hello. It feels like it would be in the middle of the night there. Um, Clover does have the best gadgets, you are correct. Um, I love working with them. Um, full disclosure, in case you didn't know that, I'm their yarn arts ambassador. So this is definitely, um, you know, stuff that was that was sent to me. But I went to them. They didn't come to me to work with them. I love their stuff so much. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is, I don't like how this is showing you. There we go. All right. So you can either, there's one of two things that you can do. You can either kind of just slide the thread under or the yarn under the plastic part this little there's like a little lip that's created or you can just lay it right here and then you're going to just start winding uh yes regina this is available now 
I don't like the view you're getting though, so let me do that. That's a little better. Yes, this is available now. It's a new product that just should be hitting the stores um, imminently if it's not already. And I know you can get it on the Clover website already for sure. Okay, so you're just going to wrap it around. And, you know, how many, how many times you wrap around really depends on how many um, or how thick you want it. So I'm just kind of eyeing it. But keep in mind that this this part is going to be folded in half, so it'll actually be twice the um, nubbiness, the chunkiness, twice the, um, the thickness that it is now. Okay, so once you're done with about as much as you think that you're going to use, you can just kind of hold that yarn in the opposite lip, lip. So if you started over here, you would, you know, use the one down here if you or vice versa. Um, you don't have to do that. You could also just lay it down, but um, it's kind of handy. So then what you want to do is you want to take a cord or you could use the same piece of yarn, I mean the same yarn and cut a piece, kind of whatever you want, but whatever you want your little tie to be made out of. So um, Patty, my yarn is available only right now at certain Joann stores and also on yarnspirations.com. Okay. So, yes, Amanda, this is a tassel maker. Okay, ready? So, um, nope, not a pom-pom maker. That's a different video. I have that too, but this is a tassel maker. All right, so then you're going to tie around, and you just knot it, right? So then you're going to snip, not the ties, but just that other, you could have done that ahead of time, but that other piece of yarn. My phone is uh, sliding, so that's why. With this app that I'm using um, to bring you live video, you're only on, it's only capable, the only capabilities it has is to be used with your phone, and so um, there are certain challenges to it, and one of those is that um, the view isn't always awesome. Okay, so then you're just gonna cut. There's a little ridge right here, and you can just cut right alongside it. Okay, and then you would flip it over this is a lot easier when you're not trying to wrap your arms around a camera. So then you flip it over. You can see there's a nice little lip. And then you ditch the tassel maker. All right, so from here, you've got your little fringy guy. Look how cute he is. And But you need to um, create a little neck, like a little necktie for him. So you can either use a contrasting color or you can use um, the same color. It's totally up to you. But you would just lay it down. Kind of, you know, fuss with it a bit if you want. And then you're going to simply just tie a knot. You could also use like a little piece of decorative. I wouldn't probably do it on this size, but if I was making a bigger one, you could use like a decorative um, satin or velveteen ribbon would be really pretty. You could probably glue it, although I have to say I really like the security of the knot. Okay, so then I just kind of pull the strands down so it all blends together. And then you can either leave it scraggly like this. You're gonna flip it over for the front. Um, and I think that for certain projects, scraggly would be really good, um, especially during Halloween. It would be really fun for like a scarecrow thing or whatever. But for this, I think I want a little more uniform. So I'm doing this at a weird angle, so I'm also cutting at an angle. So it's going to be kind of like punk rock asymmetrical, which is totally on purpose. Just kidding. <laughs> um, and there you go. That's all there is to it. And then you would just hang this. I'm going to hang this probably as part of um, part of the garland that I'm making. So check out the blog tomorrow. This is one of those things that I'm going to now obsessively trim until there's nothing left. I should have just left it fringy. <laughs> so go ahead and go to the Clover blog tomorrow, which will be January 29th. Um, or maybe you're watching that on the blog now. Maybe it's already. Maybe I'm speaking to you from the past or the future. Um, um, but get these, give these a try. It is the... Clover Tassel Maker, and it's super easy and tons of fun. I'm looking forward to 
<laughs> oh, live to you. live uh, video. You just saw my um, random painting that I used to lean my phone <laughs> next to for these. Um, but sure to check out your local craft store or go to uh, the Clover USA website. And I will, um, I'll be working on this garland tonight and posting it tomorrow afternoon. If you like this tool or think you know somebody that would be into it, repost this silly little video. Um, give them the scoop. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to check in with me on Mondays here on Facebook. Um, every Monday I do Ask Me Mondays. Um, you can click on my header to see the times and everything. And follow me on Instagram at Vicki Howell. Um, Pinterest, I am Vicki Howell, and I will see you virtually, hopefully soon. Okay, take care. Bye.